Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Battle of Reykjavik and we have played six games since the last episode where we lost the Champions Cup final to Stjorn in 2-1 and the first game that we played of course in the Premier Division, the Icelandic Premier Division was against IA and we lost this one 3-0 not a great performance, again not creating enough chances as has been the case throughout pre-season and the Upper League Cup and just extremely disappointing, really. We followed that up with another defeat against Valur. And this defeat was the catalyst for me to change our formation and our, our tactics, really. And you see Emerson getting a, a consolation goal there, but we, we never looked like scoring enough goals to win it, really. And the next game, with a change of formation, we drew 1-1 with FH, Ellinger, Agnesson getting the equaliser just a little way into the second half and <laughs> we didn't have that many shots but shot accuracy was improved and of course possession as well then was the Icelandic Cup third round obviously defending our crown as Icelandic Cup champions we managed a 1-0 victory thanks to a very early goal it was like the 40th second of the game something ridiculous like that from Victor Bjorki Arneson putting us through to the fourth round of that competition and we then beat Phil Kier 1-0 to register our first victory in the league of the season thanks to Sebastian Ibiaga goal. Victor Bjorkianesson did miss a penalty. I thought the game was going to go against us from that point, but we managed to win. And as you can see, a lot more chances created, which is good. A lot more shots on target as well. Encouraging stuff. And then the final game we just played was against Fjolnir. And we managed the 1-1 draw. We did go behind, but we equalised practically straight away and then defended the game with 10 men because John Johnson got himself sent off stupidly. And again, happy with the number of chances that were created in this one. So when we look at the Premier Division, we're currently ninth. Obviously, board expectation is to be mid-table, as is the media prediction. The media prediction is sixth. So win, a win today would put us up there but most likely um, but it is against tough opposition in Stjarnan obviously we've played them already and we'll just go straight into the game I have got quite a few players that are lacking in sharpness but it's not like desperately lacking so Stjarnan are clear favour to this one they've only lost one game all season and of course they're defending their league title it's going to be a challenge. Hopefully we can get something. So this is my new formation, I forgot to mention. So it's a 4-3-3. Um, we've got Aaron's in goal, Goodmanson, The Rock, Ibiaga and Johnson at the back. Gunnar Augsen, Stephenson and Barden, the three centre midfielders. Agnesson and Adel Steinson, the inside forwards. And Emilson is the complete forward up front. This has been working well, obviously, with the wingers on attack and Emilson on support. So hopefully we can uh, continue our full game unbeaten run in this game against Stjarnan. And another thing to mention is the fact that we're above both KR and like near Reykjavik in the league table currently. Of course KR are right on our tail. Well they were until Fjolnir just got that goal to put themselves ahead. Not much action in the first five minutes here. Oh, we've got a throw now with the Johnson. Gives it to Ibiaga. Back to Johnson. Gunnar Laugsen. Ball forward and battle Steinson. Johnson intercepted. Oh, no, he shouldn't let that ball go over your head there. Come on now. And that's gone across the back post. Stilson, saved by Aaron's. He just scrambled into the goalkeeper's hands. That was close. Very close. Expecting us to create a few chances, given the numbers that we've been making in the previous games. But of course, it will be drastically reduced because of the the quality of the Stjarnan team. Of 
come on lads make ourselves a chance or two really not much happening here apart from the yellow cards and it's free kick it's off the bar Johnson getting that one cleared no we've not had the best day in front of goal you're right assistant manager so Goodman's in with the throw Agnesson Barden can we create something Goodmanson looking for Mielsen that's intercepted by Heitdahl remember him from the Champions Cup final Stilson running down the right Mawaji back to Heitdahl Cunningham Heitdahl and John in just building from the back the rock intercepted with the header there it went straight to Mawaji it's Bjornsson through the Thorfadsson some of these names I tell you need to learn Icelandic Seems like it would be a pretty difficult language to learn, though. So it's Stilson, Vigelmich, Thorvardison, shoots, and it's a good save from Ahrens. We're just staying in this, I think. We haven't had any shots at all. Bjornsson with the corner, Ahrens comes to collect. Let's just get it in at half time. Not happy with our chance creation whatsoever. And Mielsen and Agnesson aren't having the best of games either. So who do I go to? Do I go to Johnson or Johnson? Hmm. I'll replace Agnesson. We'll bring, uh, bring Ljubicic on. And then we'll go with last season's striker, Victor Johnson, up front. See if those changes help to create any chances for us. So don't don't mind a nil-nil draw, but I'd like us to like to give the fans a bit of entertainment. This is, this is all the fans are seeing. It's, it's John on the attack. With Johnson to Adelsteinson. Oh, he's lost it. He's lost it. Jelmich is on the attack for Stian and now Bjornsson. Tackle him. Jelmich out wide to Laxdahl. He's going to give it to Bjornsson. Back post. Cleared just by Gudmundsson. <sighs> it's nervy stuff. Now we're on the attack with Barden. Lubicic. Gudmundsson. Forward long for Barden, but. They're just closing us down extremely. Supposedly we've had a shot, which is is a bonus, I guess. It's a free kick with Thorf Addison, and that's just wide. Some of the players are pretty tired. Only got one sub left. Stephenson is tired and on a yellow, so that kind of Warrants him coming off. Okay, so all three substitutions have been made. And Jelmich has got a corner for Stjarnin. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Gonna encourage the lads. They are doing well to hold them to a nil-nil draw. Given they've only lost one game all season. Come on, it's just over ten minutes to go, lads. We've had two shots now as well, with one on target. Just keep surprising me. Pass completion's a bit low. Nielsen with a goal kick, looking for Odison. Ibiaga gets there with the header, but it's only to Djugovic. Well, in rock. Now we've got a counter attack opportunity, maybe. Oh, Adelsteinson, can he. Oh, I thought he was going to pounce on a mistake. Ibiaga looking for Johnson. Laxdal got there. Barden gets there for us, though. Gunlaugsen, 
Uh, passing is just not on point at all. Stilson looking for Christensen. It's a counter-attack for Stjarnin now. Oh, that's terrible. We're equally awful at the moment. Not an entertaining game whatsoever. We've got five minutes left to hold on. Just going to do a quick team talk, tell them to concentrate. And hold on for the nil-nil, please. Oh, we've got a throw. To Johnson, back to Goodmundson. Lubicic, can he cross it? Oh, I thought we were going to steal it in the dying minutes. We've still got a chance with this throw. No, that was the highlight. Fair enough. So we get another yellow card. Good header. Or oh, surely they can't. Please, no. Good clearance. Come on, ref. Blow your whistle. Blow that whistle. Get in. Nil-nil draw with defending champion Stjarnin. That's a better better result than uh, the Champions Cup final. Maybe not a better performance. I think our performance is probably better in the in the final, but it's a point at the end of the day against a team that's currently top and won the league last season. That keeps us in eighth position. Moves us up to eighth, doesn't it? As we were in ninth. So we're still above KR Reykjavik and like near Reykjavik. So I think in the next episode, we will bring you, it'll probably be the, the Europa League first qualifying round. I think that's around the, the end of June, beginning of July. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Feel free to comment below on any predictions for what you think might happen in the season. Or where you think we might finish or anything like that. And subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my content when it comes out. And I'll see you next time.